Uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back. I uh, want to introduce a new uh, CV I'm working on. Um, it's actually going to be posted in multiple different configurations, but uh, let me uh, start with this one here. Uh, it's the NAB, which stands for Not a Base. Um, that's the kind of idea behind it. Um, this is spawnable at level 5, uh, unlock level 5. Uh, you can see it's on stilts because the landing gear are level 7, uh, landing gear go here, LG. Uh, thrusters are level 7, uh, the ramps that come down from this door are level 7, uh, the cockpit's level 7, RCS are level 7, everything that makes this thing fly are level 7. Uh, but the idea is you can spawn this thing uh, at level 5, drop it in your crash site biome, um, and since it's not a base, uh, you don't incur uh, drone attacks. Um, it's, a, it's a CV, not a base. Uh, it's made out of plastic. <laughs> uh, it, it looks like steel. Uh, with the uh, texturing I've done on it, but it's uh, actually made out of uh, carbon substrate, uh, which gets the cost. Just take a quick look here. Uh, is pretty ridiculous. I mean, that looks like a lot of uh, uh, materials, but that's basically 25 or 30 logs and a similar number of uh, crushed stone, about 40 maybe. Uh, I'll, I've got a video I'll tack on to here that uh, kind of shows what these materials are. All of your ingots are a uh, 1 to 2 ratio. Um, so uh, 50 ore makes 100 ingots. So uh, 150, uh, uh, you know, 175 or so uh, ore makes that much copper. Silicon is the, the biggest number here. Um, uh, that would require, you know, 400 uh, uh, ore, basically, uh, to get that much. Uh, Sathium is pretty easy to come by if you go salvage any hardened steel off the Titan or any crashed vessel, capital vessel you find. Uh, and that is a 1 to 2, so you'd have to get, or 2 to 1. Uh, you'd have to get a uh, 120, 130, basically, um, uh, hardened steel plates, uh, throw them in the factory, and then you end up with 65 sapium. Uh, cobalt, uh, also easy to get. If salvage one thruster, maybe two, it, it's kind of random how much you get. Uh, but if you get oscillators or, I uh, uh, forget what, uh, if you get these, uh, or these, or uh, there's these, there's about four different things that, that have cobalt in them, uh, so you can pick that up pretty easy too. Wood planks, one log makes 40 wood planks, so uh, like I said, unlike level 5, doesn't have any thrusters or RCS or even a cockpit, landing gear, ramps. Um, so that's what makes it so cheap. Uh, and the idea is that at level 10, you can put a uh, polarized hull shield in here, and then it doesn't matter that it's made out of plastic anyway, because um, they got to shoot through the hull shield uh, before they start damaging blocks. Uh, so I've got a level 10 one over there we can go look at. But uh, uh, so this. Uh, Pretty big cargo area. Uh, uh, I don't remember the, the dimensions. These hangar doors are, are nine by five. Uh, there's room to put a hangar do hangar door in the rear, nine by five. Uh, so I've left it kind of blank. I, I, I've currently got them set up to give you additional uh, landing space. Uh, I didn't. You could wall this off and put your cargo extensions back here. Or, uh, you know, make rooms out of it, do whatever you want with it, but uh, currently I've got it set up for additional landing pads. Um, 
it may be better to hop over to the level 10 one where I've filled all this stuff in, uh, but I'm just uh, showing here I've got stuff labeled. So uh, all of these type blocks here, um, I've got a container controller in here, which is uh, unlock level uh, CVs, unlock level 5, but the extensions are 7, so you can't have those in a level 5 ship. So if you replace everything you see textured like that, uh, uh, maybe I'll leave it textured like this, subject to change, but basically this area uh, that you can see in here, it's all textured, and anything, if I missed any blocks, it'll just show up as plastic blocks in here. Uh, this basically fills this volume here. Um, that is 320k worth of storage. Uh, same thing on this side. Uh, large constructor is available at level 5, so that's in here. And then I've got some additional cargo boxes, and they're all labeled. Um, building materials, medical supplies, uh, miscellaneous are these little boxes up here. Uh, they're 8k. These are 16k uh, volume. Uh, port port and starboard, left and right. Um, port raw materials 220, spare fuel and O2, spare ingots, spare parts, spare weapons and armor. Uh, you can label them however you want and use them however you want, but uh, I'm just giving some hints at uh, what's available. Uh, so, yeah, let's move over to the uh, level 10 ship. Uh, uh, one more thing here. So you drop this down in your uh, you know craft site biome which is if you can find a good flat spot uh, I'll show spawning it as well. Um, you know it may end up on a little bit of a, a slant um, but you can probably live with it until you can get some engines on it to, uh, to make it fly. Um, but since the ramps are level 7 I built this block ramp on here, so you have a way to get in and out of ship. Uh, once you get your ramps on the hangar doors and a ramp back here, you can get rid of that. Uh, it does come with uh, sentry guns to take care of the crickets and spiders or whatever's attacking you. Uh, but uh, let's move on down here to the level 10 ship. This is a level 7 ship. Uh, that's the uh, minimal flight, achievable flight kind of configuration. But uh, let's start here. This is level 10. Um, at level 10, you can get the medium thrusters. And so this has got two or four, uh, two on each side, four uh, engines in every direction. So four to the side, four, four pushing forward. Uh, four pushing back, two on each side. Uh, four pushing up, one pushing down, uh, or two pushing down. Um, uh, gravity assist, you, that's all you need. And then I, I did actually stick two more, or four more, small thrusters up here uh, pushing up. So it's got more lift than uh, everything else. Uh, so this is the level 10 configuration. You notice I've got the uh, heavy windows in here. So this one takes more Sathium to, to build. Uh, on these other two, the level 7 and the level 5, I did use those windows front and back, but on the sides uh, I just put regular windows in here to cut down on the Sathium requirement. Uh, it make it a little bit easier to gather those materials. But you can swap them out for these windows if you want, uh, once you have uh, the extra materials. Uh, so uh, these are all just color coded, just so I can tell them apart. Uh, if you don't like the uh, color, uh, pretty easy to change. Uh, this color right here, um, basically, 
a few copy pink in there <laughs> and paste that in there it changes the that particular color uh, uh, on the entire ship uh, let me just cancel that so we're not looking at a pink ship but that that's the color that's used as the kind of trim color uh, which does affect some of the lights on the exterior, the texture lighting. A lot of them are still white, but uh, it does, wherever that paint shows up, uh, affects the, the light color as well. Uh, it's really just to break up the uh, boxiness of the ship. Um, so let's start back down here. So. Uh, this is my uh, Mud Skipper HV, which is not a small HV, uh, not not a particularly large one, but uh, it's a level 15 kind of mini assault tank. Uh, and you can see I could fit four of those in here easily. Uh, just trying to get some idea of the size. Uh, so in the level 10. The medical uh, stations are level 10. Uh, so in the level 7 one over there, there's a clone chamber, but none of these medical stations are not here. Uh, I put this box back here. It's painted red. This is where you would uh, suggest that you would store your uh, medical supplies. Uh, basically just, uh, it's also covering up this hole. Uh, on this, uh, level 10 ship I'm using medium thrusters and that's one of the, the thrusters that comes down here these two up thrusters uh, I've got them painted so I tried to put this stuff where you couldn't actually get close enough to burn yourself on it uh, this is blocking you from well if you go right up here you can see my temperatures <laughs> yeah. I, I was unsuccessful uh, in keeping you away from that block right there, basically. Uh, but if you stand off of that block, you're fine. Um, if you're over here, you can't get to it. But if you can get to that block, then you'll be on fire and radiated uh, from the engine. Um, so get back into God mode. Uh, so inside this engine housing here, as mentioned, these are all medium thrusters. Um, this is a, a slant medium, but it could be just stuck right here, uh, same as that one, over and under. In fact, on the for the small thrusters, that's what I did. I put them over and under. But with this medium, I put them side by side. You got room for two more here if you if you eventually uh, expand it, but. Uh, uh, this is still some room in here if you want additional RCS or, or uh, potentially thrusters. Uh, but I've got one RCS back here on each side. Uh, I think the rest of this space here is filled on this model. Maybe an additional block here you could use for uh, another down thrust if you want. I think that one's free. Um, as mentioned I've got sentries on here. You can have eight on the ship and I've got eight. There's two here, two on the tops there, uh, two on each side. I don't think that makes eight. Uh, I've got four cannons up here uh, and a minigun on each side uh, of course you can arrange those however you want uh, but I've marked off the spots this ship I, I decided I'm, I'm going to post it with just one cannon slash minigun up here uh, the other spots are marked off but just to keep the cost down uh, I'll put one on there and then you can add the others as you you may have already found some uh, in your travels, or, or you can just build them as you as you can. But uh, this one, I think I'm going to probably post it with pretty much everything on it. Um, 
and just let you choose what level you want to enter uh, at. But uh, so that's the back. We got uh, medic stations over there. I put the core right here, by the way. Uh, this is not a combat vessel. Uh, the whole idea is that you're basically not getting shot at in this thing. But even if you are, the AI doesn't shoot at your core. They shoot at your generators, and uh, well, they shoot at your turrets first, and then your generators, and then your cockpit. They don't really care about your core at all on ships. Uh, so, uh, but it's not a PvP uh, ship by any means. Um, it's made out of plastic, for God's sake. Uh, <laughs> uh, but so there's the core. You can move it where you want to. Uh, this is 15. Uh, the heavy window is 1500 hit points, so it's actually more, better protected than the whole rest of the ship, but uh, uh, there it is. Um, I put the ammo locker over here just to block that same kind of hole, uh, that thruster back there, uh, right here on this side. Um, and then our repair station, fridge down here. Uh, put this here for like spare uh, weapons and ammo or armor um, or weapons, ammo and armor. Um, armor lock in there. Uh, so here's that configuration with the 320k storage on each side. So basically that section is what I showed earlier that's got that particular texture on it. Uh, these are all and it's a cargo extension up there, and then there, there, all of this wall, angled wall here is cargo extensions, that's cargo extension. All of these are, and then those two across the top are, uh, which actually extends into the uh, upper area here. I think these three, yeah, these three are container extensions. But from here back, it's all plastic. Um, no idea if this thing, if you fill up <laughs> maybe even just one of these, you're probably not going to be able to lift off. Uh, but since this thing's made out of plastic, uh, the main advantage is you can see with four medium thrusters in each direction, up and down is a kind of special case. I've, I've got to. Uh, uh, eight pushing up, but four of those are small thrusters. Uh, but you can see I've got 51 meters, meters per second squared in the four directions. 72 going up, 26 going down. Uh, and that's on this size ship, uh, you know, size class two. Uh, if this was steel, you immediately cut that in half. Uh, just regular steel. If you move up to hardened steel and then combat steel, uh, each time you move up, uh, you're going to really affect this maneuverability. So I made these engine housings big enough for two. Uh, I, they're they're not really designed to have the two by two engines in them. The big, uh, medium or lar large engines, I guess they are. Uh, if, if you want to put those in here, you're going to have to redesign uh, this housing back here or, or figure out, redesign the whole ship. <laughs> uh, same thing with the generators. Uh, the, the level 10 ship lets you have the polarized tall shield, uh, warp drive, and taxi tanks over here, and the uh, large T1 generators are also level 10. Uh, so prior to level 10, at level 5 and level 7, I've got four of these small generators in there, uh, and they're not going to handle medium thrusters, small at the most. Uh, so when you move up to medium, you could just have one of these large ones in here. Uh, but I've got two. Uh, if you have the whole shield, you're going to want additional generators to handle that to power the, the shields up while you're moving. Uh, so I've got two of those in here. Uh, I upgraded the oxygen. I put one of the uh, large tanks 
Same thing with the fuel. Uh, I use two larger uh, fuel tanks instead of four small ones. Uh, I've still got a small oxygen on each side. Uh, I've only got four RCS in here, two up here, two in the back. Uh, it seems to handle fine with that though. Uh, again, the lightweight of the ship. Uh, mass of this thing is, uh, you know, one and a half kilotons. Uh, it's pretty light. Uh, so, on, uh, there's a gravity generator. Over here is room for the offline protection. Uh, I, I don't usually play multiplayer, so I don't need that. Uh, but there's room for it there. That's those two small uh, thrusters pushing up uh, on each side. Uh, and that's all the cargo extensions. So, yeah, basically I put a, a put a door on each side because you can't walk through here. Just if you need to come in here and repair or whatever, uh, make sure you turn it off because you'll be on fire and radiated in this room. <laughs> uh, I've got a boarding ramp here. Heads right in the center of the ship. And right to the elevator. Uh, so upstairs, I've, I've left it really open. Uh, i got a couple of food processors, one on each side and a refrigerator on each side. Uh, and then I've got six sets of grow plots. So six rations, but you could easily put another three in between here you could scrunch them all to pull them together and get rid of these walkways here and put you know four four and four instead of three and three or three three and three and so a lot of room for grow plots up here uh, or whatever you want if you want to wall this thing off and put an office or uh, state rooms or whatever you want up here but uh, I'm trying to keep these things as cheap as possible um, and just let the end user uh, kind of design and go from there. Uh, when I publish this, I'll probably get rid of the, the lights and the plots uh, and just let you add them as, as you want. Uh, I'll leave them marked off where they go uh, or where I have them here. But uh, you can get maybe this number of plots out of the Titan mid uh, front section um, that, and the grow lights from there uh, if not they're easy enough to build uh, like I said I went with the heavy windows on this one uh, same thing for this ramp uh, I, I'm leaving it open normally I would put uh, you know a bunch of greebly uh, stuff up here uh, a lounge area and color TV and the bar and <laughs> uh, whatnot but I, that brings the cost up if you don't like the ramp you can get rid of that uh, this one this block you can get rid of fine uh, this one uh, the one that goes from here to here is actually the ceiling for down here so you might want to leave that one or, or put a square block there or something and then you can you've got a wall and you can put you know a set of stairs here instead or whatever you want to do same thing for up here I just kind of stuck the cockpit out in the middle here but all this is left open uh, I put a bed and a little personal closet up here uh, So we go up on the roof. Oops. Still in God mode. Um, access to the upper hangar, and then this door here lets you come up here if you want to repair these or get up here for some reason. Uh, so yeah, this one I think is one, two, three, four. So it's nine uh, wide from, from that white line to this white line is nine blocks. And then this way is uh, 13 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. 
yeah, 13 blocks from that white line to that white line, so 9 by 13. Pretty big ha hangar area. Uh, and yeah, so that's most of the exterior. Let me just show you one more thing before we move on. Alright, so uh, keep an eye on that ramp in the back and that one that's uh, the boarding ramp down there. Uh, you see they, they both uh, came up and then when you land they automatically extend. Um, they are tied to this landing gear. So basically if we look at the signal logic uh, this landing gear uh, it's got uh, sets the signal sig landed and then if you go look at the uh, and then I, I used I've got a switch up here auto ramps if you turn that off they don't do that but with that turned on uh, auto ramps and sig landed equals sig boarding and then if you look at the ramps uh, the boarding ramp is using SIG boarding and the ramp in the back is using SIG boarding inverted because, well, reasons. You have to. <laughs> uh, I didn't set these to that. Uh, I've still got them tied to a sensor for when you get over here, but I may still monkey with that as well. Uh, I probably need to push that zone out a little bit further too. Uh, Alright, so that's the level 10 one uh, with everything on it. Uh, this one is level 7 and you can see it's only got two engines here and they're small engines. Uh, it's still got room for four uh, but it's only got two there. Uh, two here, uh, one on each side. That one's missing two here so it's basically got two engines pushing in every direction except for up I think I've got one of the two here and one of the two here yeah that one I, I put this symbol everywhere an engine goes uh, so I've got two up here and two in the back so there's actually four pushing up uh, two pushing down, uh, same as it was, two pushing forward, two pushing backward, two pushing each side. Uh, so that's the configuration I've gone here is with these small generators, you can see there's one, two, three, four of them, um, they can't handle a lot of uh, thrusters. Uh, and there's where the warp drive was, here's where the polarized hull shield goes, here's where the gravity generator goes, here's where the offline protection goes. Uh, the landing gear did not get, oh it's actually, this includes landing gear, this is level 7, so this is kind of a, a minimal flight ready uh, configuration here. You see I've still got this small um, O2 tanks, the small fuel tanks, the, the bigger ones are level 10, so uh, it's got the wireless, the Pentaxa tank goes here, uh, but again the uh, shield and drive, that stuff is level 10, so uh, not included here. This one does have the cargo containers though, cargo extensions are included. So this one has got 320k here and same thing over there. Uh, two large constructors. The level 10 one's got two advanced constructors. These are large. Uh, advanced are level 10. Um, I, what I started to say before was if you fill up one of these things you're probably not going to lift off the ground. Um, 
but I went ahead and, and put them in here because who knows what you'll do with the ship later. Uh, just beware uh, if you're playing a weight and volume system and uh, you fill these things up. Be sure you're somewhere where you, you don't mind waiting until you <laughs> unload some of that stuff because uh, it's probably not going to take off. Uh, but I'll fly this thing here in a minute and show you though. Uh, so at level 7 we had to lose the medical things. Um, uh, so I had to drop back to a clone chamber. Uh, still got the O2, still got the uh, armor locker, or yeah, armor locker, repair station, uh, fridge, ammo, all that's the same. Uh, we just lost some medical stuff. Uh, and if we go up here, uh, all this is the same. Uh, I've taken the grow plots out of here, and the grow lights go here, here, and there. Uh, but basically same configuration, just doesn't have the grow plots. Uh, still has the ramps. Uh, like I said, only half the number of engines you can have on here. Uh, you can put more than this on here with those small generators, but at some point you're going to want to move up to that uh, T1 uh, larger generator. Uh, still got the retractable ramp back here. Pretty much every, everything is the same. As mentioned, uh, I think I'm just going to include like one turret on it uh, just to keep the cost down. The The biggest cost with this, I'm, I'm playing a, a new uh, Alpha 10 survival game now and I decided to skip that one and go straight to this one and the biggest problem is gathering neodymium uh, at level 5. <laughs> Uh, you basically have to get it from POIs. I'm playing on a uh, arid planet, so I can go out and hunt uh, uh, golems and, and get some neo that way. But it's really that's really a tough way to come up with it. Uh, better to raid POIs and, and find whatever loot you can get out of there to throw in the factory. Uh, so there's the level seven one. Now we get to the level five. No engines at all. They've all been taken out. Landy gear is missing, ramps are missing, uh, boarding ramp is missing, cockpit, see cockpit is missing, uh, all this configuration is like the level 7, no turrets at all, they're level 7, uh, well I'm sorry, it, it does have the sentry turrets, or sentry guns. Uh, so it's still got all eight of those, so you can shoot crickets. Uh, but the uh, the minigun slash cannon turrets are all missing. Uh, still got the hangar doors, but doesn't have the ramps to get in there. Uh, and if you don't, if you're playing in a uh, temperate world, you're not even going to have a jetpack at level three. And, you know, until you find some armor or make some armor. Uh, so. The biggest issue is trying to find somewhere flat enough to drop this thing on the ground and be able to reach that ramp. You might be able to drive your hovercraft up and stuff off the hood or on, onto here or something, but uh, uh, that's the biggest issue. So, uh, again, the, the thought behind this is, you know, I'm level three, level five, I, you know, gathering these supplies up, uh, hit level 5, and instead of building a base, which is subject to uh, the attacks, drop this thing on there, you got all the conveniences of a base, you've got, you know, large constructor, uh, oxygen, uh, food processors, uh, O2 stations, uh, spawn chamber, uh, armor locker, so you can put your armor on <laughs> uh, once you find it uh, or make it. Uh, and you just build this thing up as you go. Uh, if you, if it's parked over in a relatively peaceful biome, like the crash landing biome, uh, it just doesn't matter that it's made out of plastic. It gets a little bit dangerous once you get engines on it and you start moving it around the planet, but you know, 
don't do that. Don't don't fly in areas if you see drones fly away from them. <laughs> you know, unless you've got turrets and stuff on here until you get the shield generator. Uh, once you have the shield generator, you can fly through enemy territory all you want. Uh, you know, just don't go attacking bases with it. Uh, so that's the idea. Uh, I, I've been rambling for way too long, so I'll, I'll make a separate video on the build requirements. Uh, but it's really cheap. Um, again, you know, it's like 25 or 30 logs and uh, 30 or 40 uh, crust stone. Uh, 150 or 170 uh, ore. Um, this one is the most. It's about 400 ore to get that that many ingots. Uh, the iron, if you do go and uh, salvage uh, the Titan uh, or any crashed uh, capital vessel, uh, you can get a bunch of iron plate by that from doing that. So you might want to do that before mining up a bunch of iron because uh, once you throw all those plates in there you won't need it same thing for the satium hardened steel or uh, armored windows of any kind they've also got satium in them uh, and you know like i said salvage one or two small thrusters and you'll get the cobalt you need for that uh, hour build time uh, so uh, yeah let me just kind of break in here if i didn't already show it uh, I showed the build requirements for that. Let me just show these two just for reference. Uh, so level seven, uh, the adds thrusters. Here's the uh, performance, 15 in every direction with basically two engines in each direction, uh, 15 meters per second, with unloaded without any cargo in it. Uh, but it will fly. Uh, so there you go. Uh, carbon substrate is going to be about the same on each of these three. Uh, the thing that starts going up is neodymium. I don't think the other one had any neodymium requirement. Uh, this one's got that much. Uh, cobalt went up. Safium goes up. Uh, a little bit of a restroom and zescosium uh, when you put the engines and stuff in here. Uh, Copper's higher, silicon's higher, iron's higher. Uh, so you can probably pause the uh, video at uh, each of these and compare them. Uh, about 20 minutes more build time once you add engines and a gun. So this one, level 10, uh, it's got the guns and medium thrusters instead of, and twice as many. Uh, instead of the small engines. Carbon substrate's about the same. Uh, I think the other one was 33 something. Uh, iron's gone up. Silicon's gone up again. You know, copper's gone up again. Neodymium's gone way up. <laughs> uh, cobalt. Uh, but keep in mind this this is still kind of a level 10 starter uh, CV. Uh, if you compare it to other ones that you see, you'll see this is still pretty low uh, requirements. Uh, especially for iron, I guess, because uh, it's not made out of iron. <laughs> it's made out of plastic. But, uh, you know, there's some restroom and ziscosium. And, uh, well, I've still got grown plots in here. I'll probably pull those out. Uh, the silicone will go down a little bit too when I pull all the grow lights out and things like that. But, uh, and performance 51 in every direction is pretty good. Uh, 72 up, 26 down. Uh, so there you go. Uh, if you managed to sit through all my rambling, uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.